everyone. This month for April, we are going to be doing a different little activity bag for the teens, and it's going to be kind of around the theme of look, look again, optical illusions. And this isn't going to work. Hold on a second. That won't work either. Let's try this one more time. That's more like it. So, for April, we are going to be doing, like I said, look, look again. Kind of optical illusions, thinking kind of based around April 1st, April Fool's Day, how your eyes can fool you. So for this month's um, activity bag, there is a there is a sheet of paper that looks like this. And it is called a code maker game. And it gives the instructions. They're on this little short paper. And then you will get literary cryptograms, which a cryptogram is a puzzle that uses any sort of code to encrypt a message. Each of these puzzles uses a substitution cipher, which means that each letter you see represents another letter. Each puzzle uses a different code. Hint. Look for patterns, short words, and common combinations to start. Work in pencil. I definitely recommend working in pencil. This one's got a quote about books, two nursery rhymes, books in series, which we actually have several of these books in the series thing down here. And they are in our young adult section. And then books by character. It gives the book and who the characters are in it. And a quote about books. But you can't just go and read any of these because otherwise it's going to look like and I mean, I didn't understand that. You guys might have, but I would have to sit down with this. I actually have the answers and I still don't remember what the answers were. Speaking of, the answers to these literary things the riddles and a couple of the other things that you've got will be on our website under programs and then young adult and then there'll be a special link that'll take you just to the page that's got the answers to all these. So you can check your own answers. There's riddles and Shirley, I've got A through Q. Give me a letter. L. L. So the riddle that Sherilyn chose, there are three houses. One is red, one is blue, and one is white. If the red house is to the left of the house in the middle, and the blue house is to the right of the house in the middle, where is the white house? In the middle. I'm, I'm wondering if I'm saying Washington, <laughs> D.C. The answer to that one, you get this one ahead of time. The white house is in Washington, D.C. Okay, okay, another one. C. C. It's light as a feather. But the strongest person can't hold it for more than five minutes. What is it? Their bladder. <laughs> Good answer, <laughs> breath. But the next will be the picture puzzler. If you find the correct letter for each clue, you'll spell a word that should make you happy. Like the first one is find a letter that is in sock, but not in clock. S. Yep. And then for each one of those, you fill it out and then... Write your letters again here to spell a happy word. But a lot of these are like brain teasers to get your brain working. And optical illusion eye tricks. This one will make you dizzy. Try focusing on just the center circle while moving your head. I'm getting dizzy just looking at it, looking down, reading it. I don't know if you no. guys can see that. Mm -hmm. You no. see it, Sherman? Yep. So, and then actually there is a thing I included in here about the visual system and actually why we see things a little bit differently sometimes. And since we're talking about eyes, there is a handout with a word scramble and a word search about the eye and a little eye opening fact. History tells us that Abraham Lincoln was farsighted and had a lazy eye. His first pair of eyeglasses cost about 38 cents. There is another thing that we're ending up here with. Guess what it says? And there is all of these, and it kind of just looks, may look like gibberish, but each one of these, you have to kind of think outside of the box. We'll use this one, number five. Notice it's the word million with a one in it. The answer to that one is one in a million. So, and this book that you'll be getting with it is also very much like that, isn't it, Shirley? Yep. And on the back it says, look, is that the moon? Look again. Is that a pizza pie? Look again. Could that be a damsel in distress? Look, look again. In the zany world of John O'Brien, things are never as they seem. And we'll have these as long as they last. 
long as supplies last. So that's it for today. And if you're interested, give us a call at 606-348-8565. Or you can just stop in and pick up the April activity craft bag for the teens. Just tell whoever's at the front desk that that's what you're here for. And if we still have these, we will get you set up. So that's all. See you next time. <laughs> or just drop in and pick up one of the April activity craft <laughs> activity <laughs> 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 yeah. you're going with blow the low <laughs> Mo <laughs> curly <laughs> yeah oh, that's what that was low <laughs> okay <Play> the room <laughs> great <laughs> try it again Hey everybody, and now I need to stop saying yeah. it. <laughs> no end. No end. Blech.